understand when founders create projects and fail. Things happen. Running a business is hard and the competition is tough. Only a small percentage of people ever succeed, ever make it. I also understand when people make mistakes but admit them. Admit those mistakes and try to fix them. Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. What I don't understand and what I will never understand is when people lie continuously and repeatedly. What I don't understand is when an individual considers themselves the smartest cookie in the jar. I guess there is one category of people that I will never understand. Arrogant assholes who defraud others and continue doing so without any sense of remorse or dignity. Speaking of which, in today's video, I'm going to review Fourth Star, the dirty ploy created by the Luna One founders. Let's begin the story of Luna One, or I guess now it's called Fourth Star. Without further ado, let's get rolling. How it all began. Back in March 2022, we were approached by Lee Benke, the partnership director of Luna One. He introduced the project as truly decentralized, meaning not just logic is decentralized, but also data, voice, messaging, etc. The closest thing to Player 81 movie coming into the market so far. It will include features like a face tracking, haptic and tracking suits and gloves, mainstream access, and like others, it will be accessible on Xbox, PS5, PC, and they have mobile access features, live decentralized, buy and sell real estate, estate design, design and build your, your, own your own persistent, persistent environment, environment. fly ships, participate in live Xbox, Xbox concerts, concerts and band shops, shop. play, play. Lee sent us the materials that included the graphics and teasers and everything looks awesome. I was truly amazed at how confident these guys were. So I thought with this much passion, even if there are some difficulties, these guys should be able to overcome all obstacles as long as they stay true to their mission principles and give it their best shot. There was public information about the team. I saw real faces. I began covering the project and I only cover projects that I truly like. I'm not perfect, but I have principles. I only cover projects that I believe in and I did like Luna One. So I engaged my friends, I engaged you guys, the community. I myself truly believed in the potential of Luna One and the excellent token. Somehow I had even more confidence because I knew that the founding team was in the United States. It gave me a sort of reassurance, gave me more confidence. Somehow I thought that US founders would be afraid of scamming people due to potential ramifications. Little did I know. At first everything went well and it looked like the pre-sale was going according to the plan. Everyone was happy, but then something happened. I began receiving messages from my subscribers who bought the token. People were complaining about Excellent being listed on exchanges at a lower price. People called Excellent a scam. I tried to figure out what was going on. I reached out to Lee and demanded explanations. This is what Lee had to say. Basically, in his message, he had some overly complicated excuse and he assured me that with all the extra initiatives, extra tokens given to people, everyone in the end would be happy. But it was not the case. People kept complaining and I felt like I had to do something else on my end. I waited a little bit longer to see if the dynamics were going to change, if there was going to be anything positive in the end but I only saw more negative buzz. I requested an interview with the Luna One CEO, Corey Kozet, back in January, 2023. The guy completely ignored my request for over three months, finally agreeing to speak. He did not show up for the interview the first time. We had to reschedule the meeting. Then he finally joined the call and it was an awkward conversation. Take a listen. Hey, good morning. Hi, Corey. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you well. Uh, I don't see you. Do you, did you 
turn on uh, your camera? Oh, I, I'm on my mobile device. I, I apologize. I, I'm not at my desktop. Oh. Um, if, if you want, if you want to do a, a, a video, I'll, I'll probably, I'll probably have to do it another time. Uh, I'm kind of in route right now, um, but I, I'm more than able to talk and that might actually be a better place to start anyways, just to, to kind of like level set as far as like where you're at with your community and how things are going there. And I can give some updates on like kind of where we're at with some, a number of different things and then maybe figure out like, you know, what would you like to do as far as any sort of recording or, or whatnot? That'd be totally fine. And I, I was hoping just to first to connect, just, uh, uh, I guess just to to meet, uh, but also kind of figure out like what sorts of questions that your community have. I, I can be pretty available, uh, whether it's this evening or any other day this week. Uh, so let me know like what, what what works well for you, and we can definitely make that work. And I'll be at my desktop at that point, so uh, recording video won't be an issue at all. It sounded to me that Corey was afraid of the interview, but I always give people the benefit of the doubt. I was hoping to still connect with him. I even gave him my home address, hoping that he would send me a VR kit to review the work that he claimed his team had done, but it never happened. I never had a chance to ask the questions that mattered to me and you guys. Around the same time, I texted Lee. This was my message to Lee back in April 2023. Basically, I said that we referred our viewers to the Luna One project in good faith. So for there to be no communication with us regarding this fall in the price and regarding the ability to remedy the situation with our viewers is unacceptable. After a short silence, Lee got back to me saying that he had a heart attack, which is why he did not communicate. Lee also mentioned that they have something insane happening. Good news. I demanded more information and I still wanted to interview the CEO of the company to hear a proper explanation. I gave it one last chance. I sent my request to the general support team. However, despite all of my attempts, there was no response. My last attempt to establish communication was on May 29th. I basically mentioned that this was my last attempt to reach Luna One. But you know how the saying goes, the straw that breaks the camel's back. It's an idiom that is used to describe a situation where a small, seemingly insignificant event or action becomes the final decisive factor that causes a person or a situation to reach a breaking point. The breaking point happened yesterday. I received a comment from this guy, Wyatt Herb. And thank you for the comment, by the way. Wyatt showed me this, my name with a fake quote on the website called Fourth Star. I hadn't even heard anything about this website until yesterday. So the Luna One team used my name to defraud people again. And this, my friends, is nasty. First off, I never managed to withdraw my own tokens from the Luna One website. It was supposed to be around 20 grand and I was completely ignored. It's not just you guys, it's me as well. Then these assholes did not have enough balls to speak with me to respond to people who spend their hard earned money and invested in excellent tokens. Finally, my name is used without permission on this shady website made out of a WordPress template to defraud and fool even more people. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? It's completely unethical. It is shameful and it's not beneficial for the crypto community. I'm going to keep an eye on Corey Kozet and Lee Benke and their future endeavors. When it comes to Luna One and Four Star, I don't think that anything good can be built on a bunch of lies and fraud. In addition to that, I don't see any strong technical expertise present here. These guys run a website on WordPress and hire contractors for their so-called multi-million dollar project. There is no in-house technical expertise based on what I see, and Corey is terrible at capital allocation. I'm committed to taking proactive steps to clean and restore our environment. As you have noticed, your comments matter. 
leave them in the comment section. Some people pollute the crypto environment, but as long as we are committed to keeping it clean, it will be clean. I'll talk to you soon. Ivan KV out. <laughs>